Greetings YouTube, Joe here with Culination Media, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon White. This is episode number 9, and I know it has been a while since I've recorded this. I've just been uh, recording all kinds of other stuff, like I did a whole series on Star Fox 64 on my channel, and it just... That kind of just took off, and it was only like 11 episodes or whatever, so I just did all of them pretty much in a week or two. Uh, and I kind of stopped recording Pokemon White, but that's going to change because it's kind of shameful that I did all 11 Star Fox episodes before I recorded episode 9 of Pokemon White. So, as you can see, uh, we're picking up TM94, which is Rock Smash. It's an interesting fighting type move. I don't know if I'm going to be using it or not, uh, but it does have a decent chance of uh, lowering defense, which is always a nice effect. Anyway, uh, last time we left off um, just arriving in Nacreen City, and we kind of looked around a little bit and went in some of the houses. Um, now we're going to explore the outside of Pinwheel Forest, and uh, hopefully in the next couple of episodes, get trained up enough and fight all these trainers. Um, and then after that, we can go uh, fight the gym leader of Nacreen City and move on. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is fight this nurse here, because she will heal you every time after you've beaten her in battle. So, I'm gonna start with Blitzel. It's at level 16, I have the level advantage here, although that doesn't mean anything. And, oh, critical hit, down to three HP. That did not work out in my favor, did it? No, okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to switch out to uh, Servine, because I don't have anyone else to switch out to, really. These are my only two team members, although that's going to change shortly as well, as I'm going to be adding uh, one of the wild Pokemon from this area onto my team, which is kind of cool, I guess. Imprison? Why would you use Imprison on Servine? Honestly, do you think I know any of the same moves that you do? No. But yeah, anyway, it's going to be pretty cool um, recording Pokemon White again. I've kind of missed it off and on, and then I just randomly don't think about it. Uh, but yeah, look forward to a lot more episodes um, in the coming weeks, because... I want to get a good chunk of this game done, so we can move on, continue, move forward, get better, all that stuff. There's an ether up there in the corner, which you saw me pick up, I didn't really explain it, but whatever, you guys don't care. Uh, so now, our goal is going to be picking up all the items lying around here and battling all the trainers because we need to level up uh, the gym leader. I think her highest level Pokemon is level 20. It might be level 21, but I want to say 20, so I'm going to stick with that. Alright, anyway, that's our goal. This uh, trainer starts with Cottony, which is a grass-type Pokemon, and went for the growth there, which increases both attack and special attack, as we've talked about before. I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave, considering it's faster than me. And uh, then we'll just spam quick attacks. Oh, Stun Spore missed. That was awesome. I got lucky there. And it's paralyzed and can't move. Maybe two more hits. Quick attack. Uh, and it still can't move. Oh man, I got really lucky there. I can't wait until Blitzel learns uh, Flame Charge because then he'll have a little bit of an advantage on uh, Grass-type Pokemon. Whereas right now, Shockwave is not very effective and Quick Attack is, well, Quick Attack. So it's not going to do that much damage. Petalil is next. So rather than going through that whole thing again... I'm just going to switch out to Servine and have it be a grass-on-grass -grass battle uh, where I don't necessarily have a disadvantage. And we're just going to tackle the crap out of this thing. Maybe three or four hits. Sleep Powder missed, which is also very nice. I don't know how I'm getting so lucky. Then it goes for the Leech Seed, stupidly, which doesn't affect other grass-type Pokemon. And I'm able to knock it out. That is ridiculous. That is probably the luckiest battle. I've had in a really long time. Stun Spore and Sleep Powder Miss. Cottony was paralyzed and couldn't move like two or three times. And then it stupidly tried to use Leech Seed. I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm losing my mind. All right. Preschooler. Why are we battling preschoolers? I never understood that. I feel like this is child abuse, but that's not gonna stop me. Rog and Rolla, the rock type Pokemon. And uh, we have Blitzel out here, so we're just gonna go for the Shockwave. Doesn't matter if it kills it in one hit or not. Um, it gets a critical hit, but because of the sturdy ability, he's going to hang on either way, so it doesn't matter. Goes for the sand attack, which is going to lower our accuracy, which kind of sucks, but also kind of doesn't suck because we have shockwave, which always hits. 
no matter what, unless they're uh, flying or diving or digging, Shockwave is going to hit. So that sucks for you. Little boy, I do enjoy the fact that his name was Homer, though. That was pretty cool. Okay, you picked up a great ball there, just hanging out on the side of the old uh, train tracks, it looks like. And we don't have a choice but to go through the grass. Thankfully, I didn't get attacked. That's always good. And there's some more trainers over here. And we can't go that way. But I did see some dark grass over there, so if you want to uh, battle tougher Pokemon, higher level Pokemon, and uh, possibly get attacked uh, by double battles for, from stronger uh, wild Pokemon, you can go over there and train. Anyway, this trainer starts off with Timpole. Or time pole, however you want to say it. I say Tim pole because I'm cool like that. And it's just a uh, plain water type Pokemon. Uh, it does evolve into um, bleh, a Palpitoad, which is water and uh, ground, similar to Quagsire and Whisk Wish Cash. Why can't I pronounce things? Wish Cash. Uh, but right now it is only water type, uh, so we can knock them all out with Blitzel's Shockwave fairly easily and not have to worry about it. I should really be training uh, Servine coming up. I'm going to train Blitzel up to maybe like 18 and then work on Servine because um, the next town or the next gym leader and all that stuff, they focus a lot on bug type Pokemon and that's just bad for Servine. He can't really handle that, nor does he have any attacks that can really do that much damage to them to begin with, so it would make more sense to uh, use Blitzel after he learns Flame Charge. So he'll be getting a lot of training uh, throughout that time, so he might as well use Servine uh, for this gym. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, Youngster, Zachary. He starts off with a Pokemon we haven't seen yet, and that's gonna be Venipede, the bug and poison type Pokemon. And unlike a lot of the other bug and poison type Pokemon, Venipede's actually pretty decent. Uh, especially when it evolves into its final form, it's very, very fast, and it learns some interesting moves, too. It's like one of the only uh, Pokemon that can learn Steamroller, which is a bug-type move. Isn't a great move, but unique moves are always good. I think Golem is one of the only other Pokemon that can actually learn it, but that's Golem, and you can't find Golem around here, nor can you obtain one. Okay, so we're going to get rid of Charge, so Blitzel can learn Flame Charge. Interesting, right? Lillipup is next, and I'm gonna switch out because we don't really need to be using Blitzel, like I said, so we'll switch out to Servine, who is still surprisingly at level 17. And we're gonna use Leaf Tornado, and that should do a lot of damage to this Lillipup, which it does. I actually thought it might kill it, but we don't have that big of a level advantage, so I guess that was a little bit greedy of me to want to kill it in one hit, but. That's alright, and that does it for Zachary, and we're running out of trainers, maybe only two or three more? Something like that. There's no items down here? I thought there were- oh, there it is, hiding over here. And it's a Super Potion, which I'm sure we will use, because I always use Super Potions. Oh, we're getting attacked by a wild Pokemon, and it's Timpole, level 17. As you can see, that's, I think, the same level as Servine, right? So, let's catch this thing. We're going to go for the Thunder Wave and paralyze it. Because that's going to give us probably the best chance to catch it. Not that it's a difficult Pokemon to catch. It goes for the Round, which uh, actually does have decent power in uh, 60. And it does more damage if other Pokemon join in the Round. So that's mainly useful for like triple battles and stuff. But we don't have to worry about that. Ah, Super Sonic. I was not expecting that to actually hit. But now I'm confused. So we might as well try to catch this thing. I do have Netballs, uh, which are very effective against Water-type Pokemon, like Temple, but I don't want to use them just yet, uh, so I'm just going to go with Pokeballs. Apparently that wasn't good enough for him because he broke out of it. Went for the Mudshot, which is super effective, but he doesn't get stabbed from it. I think if he did, that would do... Uh, that may have actually uh, killed Blitzel. We'll go for a Great Ball here, and if that doesn't catch him... I think I'm either going to switch out or see if Blitzel gets knocked out, see what happens. No! How did you break out of a Great Ball? Goes for the Mud Shot again, that's gonna kill Blitzel. Yuck! Can't believe I just died there. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna bring out 
Servine now. And we can probably wrap it so that it doesn't die. That'll get it out of the green zone too. So we'll have a much better chance at catching it. And it goes for the round again. So, so far it knows Supersonic, Round, and Mudshot, which is a pretty decent move uh, selection for a Pokemon at level 17. So, I can't complain. Let's just throw another Pokeball at it, see what happens. I mean, it is paralyzed and into the low yellow now. And yeah, I didn't think it was going to be able to last much longer. But that was kind of a long process just for catching a Temple. It's maybe a little bit too cautious there. And it's a Tadpole Pokemon, which it actually looks like a Tadpole. Kind of unlike Poliwag. Eh, I like Temple better than Poliwag, though. Whatever. Alright, well, we need to go back and heal ourselves up. And we're actually going to be adding Temple to our team. So, maybe we can do some training with that. But nonetheless, we have a couple more trainers to do in this area before we move on to the gym. But I'm going to save that for the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. And stay tuned for episode number 10. Game on.